Hey guys, Lamagra here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last episode we read some more poems. Is is we're gonna be reading even more poems. Is is is, but I wanna see if I can make this a special episode and kind of test my recording software a little bit. So, I wanna make this episode as long as I can. Um, it might cut off at the end or something, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it, I wanna see how it goes, this could be an hour long episode or something, that'd be cool, but um, alright, uh, let's go with Natsuki, what you got girl? This one's alright. All right. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No. Gross. It's not like I care. Buck, Baka! <laughs> it's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... Um... It's not like you would actually do that. <laughs> Baka! <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? <laughs> that seriously hurt my feelings, man. Well, maybe it was funny to hurt. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. <laughs> anyway, Natsuki holds your poem out to me like nothing even happened. Alright. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury our, your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in the sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. OOF! I'll be the beach that washes your world away, I'll be the beach that... Daydream about each day on the beach makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left too long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. That's weird! Yeah. I felt like I keep writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Um, sand sucks! <laughs> Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Gee, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can't really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. <laughs> Baka! I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess ended up... 
Mine ended up with kind of being metaphorical too, but there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. Okay. Well, that was weird. My mic... I think my mic cut out a little bit because I didn't hear anything coming through it, but... What I said was that was pretty awesome and we're gonna go to sorry now <laughs> okay this is your best one so far it's really nice grant uh thanks mm-hmm siri you've been a little quiet today is everything all right eh, eh. of course Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Grant. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. God damn, I've been trying! <laughs> It always comes back to you, goddammit. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? Uh... The music stopped. <laughs> you don't want to get closer with everyone else? Oh shit. <laughs> Wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have sometimes- I know- I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we all have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. WHY?! So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Why the fuck? <laughs> Sayori. N no Grant. I don't deserve- deserve- What the fuck is going on? You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sari has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. I'm so confused. Why is she crying? No, stop. <laughs> if you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori. I glanced around the room and showed no one has noticed this. Sayori, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. <laughs> Tell me what would cheer you up. Siri shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Grant. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Siri? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom home to herself. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a second! Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, Dragnating air is common foreshadowing that, sometime, that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little while she's not around. Where the hell did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. <laughs> Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? All of the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. Can you fuck off? <laughs> so much for you two being all lovey-dovey. We're not! 
Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression from Yuri of all people. Come down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Well, we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> come on, man. I... I'm useless. Don't say that! But no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting too. God, just stop saying things. It's gonna mess with people. Monica, your chat, your Tara yes apart. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Siri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some of the banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Oh, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. <laughs> your, your mind is racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Grant. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend a weekend on one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that, Yuri? We gotta talk to Yuri and make her happy. She's best girl. Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a lot of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. <laughs> um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Oh, fuck. Come on, guys. Stop. <laughs> Grant may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Oh no, you said that. Come on. Fuck, just stat. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Oh god. Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Grant to... What are you saying? It will be extremely m meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Grant to decide how he'd like to contribute. Don't. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I said don't! So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well, even, <laughs> even Speedwagon is surprised. Sorry, sorry, I was just saying though, jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah, don't, Grant, you're already with this, right? In the end, that's up to you, don't, don't do it, <sighs> of course. <laughs> Very well, in that case, everyone looks straight at me, no. God damn it! I knew it! But of course, I'm going to go with... <sighs> Shit! 
Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> Why you gotta- You gotta throw these horrible, horrible decisions at me. <sighs> they all have their own merits and they're all nice and interesting in their own way. Sayori's not even here. She probably feels like garbage right now. <sighs> but... Shit. Um... Natsuki's always mad at me, so... She's probably not it. <sighs> Monica... Ah, shit, dude. I think Natsuki and Sayori are out of it, because I don't know what Sayori's doing, and Monica's pretty much always mad, so... Not Monica, uh, Natsuki. So it's either Monica or Yuri. But Yuri is, in fact, the best girl. So... Shit. Okay, I'm going with Yuri. Uh, well, I'll probably be more useful helping out Yuri. Not me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I could already tell you're about to say something mean. <laughs> no, I was just saying... <laughs> so you'll be helping Yuri then, Grant? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. Are you trying to say I'm dumb? <laughs> That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Every can tell Natsuki is feeling a little sour. God damn it! So, is that everything we needed to go over? <laughs> yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Grant? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Yuri anxiously glanced between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Grant picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will ever compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. W why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. Well, you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Yuri's words. <laughs> She's trying her best. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up, she must be far out of her own concert zone. Yeah. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Oof. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sari would say at a time like this. Because Sari always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. <laughs> no, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Are you saying I'm nothing? <laughs> but I'm going to say this. You better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event! Uh, I believe you. <laughs> Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best, but with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time to, for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry, I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I, I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You really like exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? I, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just, I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm, I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. 
it's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Is your house full of weep shit, Yuri? Is your house full, full of anime body pillows, Yuri? So what's going on here? Do you have JoJo figures all over the house? I mean, that that's just heaven, but... <laughs> uh. I can't complain. I got I got posters and shit in my room, so I hope I engage to make myself. I hope I'm. What the fuck did I get engaged from? I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. <laughs> Why is this series always the one that I can't read on? I'm not nearly as creative as you are. That was Grant. Why? The, I need to read the names before I fucking read the line. Don't under, don't underestimate yourself, Grant. I think that we'll make a very productive team, even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. <laughs> but, but, Yuri thinks to herself an extremely intense, extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way to the, out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof, even though I'm, I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen? Which I Grant! <laughs> you don't have to try to bone every girl you meet. Fuck. Or is it too early for that? Yeah, it's way too early. Only time will tell. <sighs> what is this? An epic 80s song? Only time will tell? But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. If you don't know the song Only Time Will Tell, you should listen to it. It's, it's pretty good. It was in the Metal Gear 5 soundtrack. That's how you know it's great. I seriously can't wait. Yay! Grant's actually excited about something. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and I'm also an intimate person in general. You're not- Wait, what? <laughs> How are you an intimate person? Oh. <laughs> Fucking stupid. I can't read. <laughs> And also an intimate person in general. I thought I said I was. I was about to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Just the two of us! Meanwhile, when we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. By pretty, but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Siri since she left the club the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sari said and what Monica said, it is really is it really okay for me to put Sari's feelings aside when she might need me? Why do you- Come on, man! I decided to visit Sari before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. I mean, that's nice, but... <laughs> you're, you're somewhat breaking and entering, Grant. And why is it completely dark in here? Is she doing satanic rituals in here? <laughs> the house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Do they just not have artwork of the bedroom? Is that why it's all black? I headed up to her bedroom where I finally met her. I finally find her. She's got a weird looking boob. Sayori. Hi, Grant. 
I sit down in her room. Siri forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sari's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. <laughs> How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? No, that's true. But what about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'll just be helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Siri takes a random stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After all, after you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Grant. Eh? Why can't it just feel like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. The fuck? <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Siri gives an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Grant. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just saying it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Grant? I guess I have no choice this time. I'm an evil death lord from the planet Bleep Blob! <laughs> the thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Bruh. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. Yeah! It's, it's pretty fucking shocking. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is this possible that Sayori kept this from me this entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? <laughs> Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed, betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Grant. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat, be bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. 
but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Grant. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears shrieked down Sarah's face. God fucking damn it. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and, me, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I want to grab... Once again, grab Sarah's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. <laughs> Grant? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Grant? Sari isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sari's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Grant, I... Sari barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away, and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad at you if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Suri puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't really- I don't understand any of these feelings, Grant. The one time I'm not feeling- Nothing is when I'm feeling pain, but your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Siri lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Um, eh. It's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Siri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sari and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I should be worrying. T I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. <sighs> well, that was something. Um, <laughs> I feel all weird now. I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I related a lot to that situation. I feel like everyone feels like Sarah does from time to time. Even I do. Like, some days I'll just not want to do anything. I'll just feel bad for no reason. But, that, that was, uh, it's hard for me to talk right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, I know this is, this is weird, but, you know, 30, almost 35 minutes into a video, but, if you're feeling like Sarah Ray does, 
then you need to be around more people, and you need to talk to people. I know it, I know it's going to be hard to do that, and I know uh, if you're feeling that way, you probably won't ever want to do that, but it's really important. It helps you, it helps everyone around you, and it just it's just better for everyone. So, um, if you're feeling that way, then uh, I'm going to post, post something in the description so you could, uh, you could hopefully feel better. Whew. But, anyway, that aside, uh, we're going to continue. Um, so, yeah. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah. Aw, oh, she's wearing a cute sweater. Ah! Out of my girls had sweaters at that best. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and heard, heard more on the way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure we'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. <laughs> that's, that's just courteous. Just... You're supposed to do that. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of your spots to clean. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch your wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's trying, <laughs> she's keeping track of her. So, um, should we get started? Well, you got porn in that fucking drawer. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you could help me with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know... Mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh wow, I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to figure, forget. Fuck! <laughs> it's easy to forget what that you're a pretty intense person. Huh? Intense? I guess that's just the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's just something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. What's the object? <laughs> I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I don't know shit. <laughs> Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, says so. It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or her herbs you choose, it can change the mood of the air itself. Are you a fucking... Do you smoke weed, Yuri? <laughs> you got yourself some vapes in that bag? 
You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes it, pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout out through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is just... This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells like the sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with everything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly, clearly enjoying herself. She looks pretty happy, yeah. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each piece of paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we could fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I surprise. Do suppose. Fuck! <laughs> Seriously! This game! I could read normally anything else, but this game. Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. I guess it's because I'm trying to do characters right now. That's probably why it's hard to read. Hoo hoo hoo! Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Ah, she's so cute! Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two? <laughs> when it's just the two? <laughs> or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Or maybe it's both. Here's a marker, Grant. You can write any characters you want. I hope you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Once she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? Huh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has the intricate pattern of waves etched to it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Eh. Huh? Well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. I'm gonna be weirded out! <laughs> yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kinda into knives. <laughs> God damn it, Yuri. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and, and feeling of danger, maybe. What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird of this. Uh, you're laughing at me. No, no, don't. <laughs> Shut up. Grant, stop making her feel bad. Let her be kinky if she wants to. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it's kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife on my index finger. Ow! Grant! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. <sighs> she stares at it and no noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash off now. 
Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and looks at him. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yuri? <laughs> God damn it. I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting something similar to that. But I wasn't expecting her to do that shit. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. What the fuck? Yuri, do you like- are you a vampire? Do you- do you- do you like blood? You don't cut yourself, do you? That's not good. That- that's not Gucci gangs, Yuri. Startle, I said we pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. What the fuck? I wasn't thinking. I just let my bestial oranges go for the blood. I just- I went for the kill. <laughs> I Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. God damn, what the fuck? Yuri, that's the most embarrassed thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eh. Sure, it was a little weird and took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? You fucked up! Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and look the index figure into the What the fuck? What? what the fuck are you doing? Great! I take Yuri's hand and look around the figure into the You don't just do that! She's not cut! The whole reason she would have done that is because there was blood, not because she wanted to lick your fingers! There's not Cheeto dust on your hand, is there? She's not fucking Yoshikage Kira. She just, <laughs> she just saw blood. You don't. Why would you? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so worked up about this. <laughs> Grant, <laughs> did you really just do that? Exactly. Exactly. Tell him off now, cause he fucked up. Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. You did! <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. Except for the sweet rubber jabber over there, it would be extremely heavy right now. <laughs> You're so weird, Grant. <laughs> Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was just a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. <sighs> we each just wish for of our respective activities. Jeez. I watch yours not cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Is she gonna try to kill me or something? They're putting a lot of emphasis on that goddamn knife. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we all lay them out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and we and will be very effective as, as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. I, I went <laughs> I went down and I, I scrolled on Reddit to cool crafts, so I found that. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint templates. Ah, that's right. Wow, you asked me a lot. You, you didn't give me money for any of this. You're just, you just asked me to buy this stuff, assuming that I'd have enough money, right? One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. <laughs> okay. Sorry if I'm sniffling. I have the sniffles. <clears throat> Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I haven't seen those in a while. The bathroom cups. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly un unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. God damn it! 
That's totally what she does, isn't it? She cuts herself and then slurps up the blood like a vampire. Is that what she does? Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the panel, starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote on across the banner. We can hang it on the wall, behind the podium, in front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, you and I kneel on the opposite side so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when you paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like art class projects we used we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. It's just like when I came to spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a lot... Blah, feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing this experience with someone can make me happy. Yeah! Yep! Sharing dank anime and memes is pretty freaking cool, dude. Especially with that JoJo memes. Joe jokes. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab some unused paintbrush. Some unused paintbrush, yes, Tyler, you can talk. But, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kyaaa. Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands and surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry. I should have asked you to get it from me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel that I dampen it with hot water. I return to the room and kneel back down in front of her. <laughs> oh, cough, cough, of course, of course, I gotta, you gotta make it as, as freaking sensual as possible. Why she got her arm on my arm? There's no point to that. Here, <laughs> I pat down to his face and neck with a towel. <laughs> is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. I haven't f having finished, I start to check my hand, but Yuri slowly holds my wrist. You're not allowed to leave. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Just for a little longer. Okay, so she's double king. <laughs> it feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand so... I got you really like, she looks into my eyes, it's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through, slightly ported lips. What is happening? <laughs> That's my reaction. Is it the aroma of jasmine or giving me a dizzy feeling? Your gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a tiny stitch through my own. Why would it do that? But suddenly her face seems so much closer to mine as it was in just a moment. Is she gonna try to kiss me? Uh, your slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the nice guy with white. Dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, 
Not yet. I need to drive first. That's true. But won't that make that won't that take a while? Won't that make that take a while? <laughs> well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. It's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Because I'm a hardy bastard. Well, Yuri thinks to herself, Don't! I think it would be too irresponsible if we to wait much longer. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. It's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I should I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all the things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. Well, you could just invite her over normally, like I don't know, a fucking friend. <laughs> Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri Fidgets, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. I've s about today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we could do this again. See? Whatever you want, you can come over, we can go out somewhere. Yeah, just fucking hang out. It's not that hard. I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Grant. Yuri takes a step closer to me and briefly squeezes my hand. Oh, God. I kind of like that about you. With the fucking no music. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Eh? Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Hi, Grant! Sorry! Just now, we weren't. Eh? <sighs> it's okay, Grant. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so. That's fine, right? Of course! Suri beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clear and embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Suri waves goodbye after her. Suri, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <sighs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. How close you got to her. It makes me feel really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start falling down Why well, you gotta cry every single time? That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Grant? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sari, don't say that. It's true, Grant. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I shouldn't just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. <laughs> Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would trade that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes the entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Siri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Grant. I feel really scared. What are you scared of, Sari? I'm scared that I might like you 
more than you like me. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Don't do this. Is everyone trying to be in a relationship with me right now? Sayori, it's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I didn't. I did this to myself. Grant, I like you so much that I want to die. What the fuck? That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand out Sayori's arm and squeeze her head in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Uh-oh. Oh! No! Don't do this! No! No! <laughs> Fuck! Don't! Shit! Okay, this is not a good situation to be in. Either I say I love you, and she might be happy because she likes me, or I, I fucking friendzone the shit out of her, and she gets depressed because I don't like her as much as she thought. And fuck! <laughs> God damn it, what am I supposed to do? I like Sayori, and I like Yuri, and I like Monaga, and I like Natsuki. They all have their own things, and. We j I just hang out with Yuri, and we had some fun times, we, we felt some things, and now I'm g <sighs> I can't do this, man. I can't do this. This is so bad. I don't want to friendzone her, but if I say I love her, then if Yuri wants to be with me or something, then th that gets fucked up. What the hell am I supposed to do? Fuck! Um... <laughs> Shit! I don't... This is not a good situation to be in right now. <sighs> okay, um... Let's go over the thing. So we're not... <laughs> we've been friends since childhood. We're not related. But we're close enough to be related. She told me she's scared that I won't like her as much as she likes me. Fuck, okay. I feel like, god damn it, I don't want to friend zone her at all, okay? Friend zoning would, is the worst option out of these two. They both have repercussions, but friend zoning will probably destroy her. So. I'm gonna have to save real quick. I don't. Save. Just in case I fuck this up. Oh, okay. I love you. I love you. Don't. Eh. Those are my true feelings, so there's no way you can like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. I'm spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you're truly the most important person to me. That's why I accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Grant. Suddenly, Siri wraps her arm tightly around me. Oh my god, she's so cute! Grant, is this really okay? Yeah. Okay, I feel like I did the right thing. Cause she... She looks like she probably would have died if she... If I did say that I loved her. Oh god. I hold Siri in my arms, pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Grant. God damn. Okay. I want to be with you forever. Oh, shit! Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Grant. That's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. <laughs> That's all that matters right now. Okay, I trust you. Sari and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. 
I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Even if we really are a couple, I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey Grant? Sarah gives me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad? This is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sarah? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns. I f it felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me, but that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain or whatever when it comes to Sarah. Did I? Did I fuck up? <laughs> Shit. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having such- I have having much trouble understanding Sarah's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should do something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sarah meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give everything I've got. Sarah is the most important person to me and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna save one last time. Um, uh, let's put that there just in case. Well, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Really long episode, sort of a special. Uh, haven't done an episode in a while, so I felt like I kind of needed it to be a little bit longer, and I wanted to test the recording stuff, and it worked out. So, um. If you do see this video, then it worked. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. And hit that bell so you don't miss out anything on the channel. Subscribe. Post in the comments what you would have done in this horrible situation. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!